welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is episode number 56. And today we have a pay dirt sent in by a subscriber uh, named Phil. And I really appreciate you sending me pay dirt. Now I already did research on this pay dirt that he sent. This one is from Caribbean Gold Pay Dirt. This is the Rio de Oro Gold Pay Dirt here. Uh, cost $99 and it's guaranteed more than one gram of large gold with the possibility of even smaller gold from unsearched sand and gravel. There's no fines, flour, or flakes. It's only pickers and nuggets. So this is gonna be a really easy pay dirt to pan out. Um, there's no little tiny stuff to worry about. And also every 10th bag will contain more than two grams of Puerto Rico large gold. So this gold's from Puerto Rico. Um, I recently went down to Puerto Rico and did some gold prospecting. I did find some gold. I also found a big silver nugget and everything. If you haven't checked out those videos, definitely check out the card um, that just popped up above my head here and go watch those videos in another tab. Now, since we're guaranteed to get over $30 worth of gold in this bag of pay dirt, I went ahead and sent Phil already in the mail an American Silver Eagle um, because it has more than 30 bucks worth of gold in it. Um, that goes for anybody. If anybody else would like to send pay dirt to me for a review, before you send a pay dirt in for review, make sure you check out my uh, other gold pay dirt review videos. There's like 55 other ones. Make sure I didn't do it already. And if I didn't do it already, I'll do a review. If there's more than 30 bucks worth of gold, I'll send you a Silver Eagle in the mail. So thanks a lot, Phil. I really appreciate it. Now this stuff does cost $7.95 to ship. So a total of $106.95 to have this stuff shipped uh, here to Colorado. All right, let's take this bag of pay dirt down to the Panda Station. There's also a letter here from Phil. We'll chop it open and see what's in it. Okay, so here's our Rio de Oro gold pay dirt from Caribbean gold pay dirt. Let's take a look at it in a pan. Nice, okay, let's see what's inside. It is heat sealed here. Looks really dusty in there. Kind of looks like maybe broken bedrock, but it also kind of looks like street gravel, but yeah, you never know. Let's go ahead and pour it out here. Wow. Even found a leaf inside there. This stuff probably weighs about two or three pounds, so we're gonna have to classify it. But before we do that, we have a letter here from Phil. Hey Shane, how are you, man? Hope this letter finds you and it finds you well. I really enjoy your channel. Happy face. I'm really enjoying the 50 State Series and recently liked the MRE review. I'm not sure if you're going to continue to do them, but if you do, I hope you get a nice hiss. Nice. I sent you a bag of the Rio de Oro. I'm not sure if you want to do a review of it or maybe a mail call or just keep it and pan it for yourself. If you want to, I guess you can give my YouTube a shout out. It is Urban Survival. Also went ahead and sent a couple coins. I did not send any body parts or anthrax. Nothing special, just a dime I know that you like and a wheat bag penny for good luck in your prospecting journeys. Man, that's awesome, dude. He sent a mercury dime here and a wheat penny. Yeah, man, very cool. Thanks a lot for that. Make sure you check out Urban Survival here on YouTube. And let's go ahead and continue on with this Peter review. Okay, here's our plus and minus kitchen strainer. Now we already know that there, it's only gonna be pickers and nuggets. So we know the gold's gonna be in here. So let's go ahead and pan out the small stuff first. We'll save the best for last. We'll bring over Krusty Rusty. Knock off the snow. We'll add some water and some Jet Dry. The Jet Dry is a surfactant. It breaks the surface tension of the water. It prevents gold from floating away. Yes, gold can float. Although in here, it's gonna be all pickers and nuggets, so probably won't float away, but just in case. There is small gold in here. Yeah, we got some small gold in here. This might be the stuff that's not added. 
But I mean, those are some pretty nice flakes. I noticed some really strange, like, mica in here. I don't even know if it's mica. It's kind of not shining like mica. It's just like maybe it's quartz sand or something. It's real heavy white stuff in there. My first thought was mica, but it's not shining. It's just interesting stuff. Never saw that before. I also thought mercury amalgam, but I don't think it's mercury. It's not heavy enough. Next, let's take care of the big stuff. I'm gonna do this in two or three separate pans because there's quite a bit of it. And little crusty rusty here can't handle too much. Right, no luck in the first pan, nothing at all. Let's get some clean water here. Much better. Okay, let's keep going here. A little bit at a time, no rush. No luck in our second pan either. There we go. Got some gold this time. Got three pieces of gold in here. Four pieces, right? Yeah, four pieces of gold. Nice little nuggets and pickers. That's pretty nice. Nice round little nugget there. Three more. All right, nothing else in that pan. Got some plants in here too. You see like leaf, little pieces of leaves and sticks and stuff in there. I see more gold in this pan. Yep. Yeah, five more little pieces. Awesome. Pretty nice. So far it's pretty good. I'm enjoying this pay dirt. All right, I think we'll get two more pans out of it. Yeah, there's a couple nice pieces here, two nice pickers. Yeah, well, like one nugget and one picker, look at that thing. That's a chunky nugget right there. Okay, this will be our last pan. All right, let's spin this back and see if there's any more gold. Ah, no gold in that last one. We got all the gold out. We'll double check all of our tailings. And yeah, we'll lay everything out and see what we got here. All right, there it is. Uh, it doesn't look super bad. I mean, there's a good amount of gold here, but I don't know if there's 100 bucks. There's probably maybe 50 bucks worth of gold here. 50% ROI might be pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll dry it out, we'll weigh it up, and we'll get an actual value on it. And yeah, that was actually pretty fun. All right, here's our gold in the pan. As you can see, uh, there is mostly pickers and nuggets. Well, I shouldn't say mostly, it's, it's actually mostly flakes. Um, some of these smaller ones, I guess they could be considered pickers because you could pick them up. I'd call that a picker. Some of these flakes, even you can pick up. So are they actually pickers or flakes? I mean, it's debatable, you know. There's no set size for what makes a picker a picker and a flake a flake. But 
yeah, I mean, it's, it's all pretty nice gold. Let's get it into the scale here. All right, let's turn on our scale, zero it out. Almost a gram and a half, 1.485. That's really good. I mean, they guarantee a gram, so we got way over a gram. That's really, really good. And this company had no idea that they were sending it to me. As far as I know, Phil does not work for uh, Caribbean gold pay dirt. So very cool. Let's uh, let's get a value on that. We got 1.485 grams of 18 karat gold. Calculate gold scrap value, $53.13. Um, we're also gonna let's also do the 24 karat price, $70. So I mean, there you go. I mean, it was $106 shipped. That's actually a really good price. A lot of work does go into these pay dirts. The little nuggets can actually be sold for more than 24 karat value. Usually the rougher, more natural looking nuggets have a higher premium, but still, I mean, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was really easy to pan out as you saw. There was a little bit of black sand and there was even some like white coarse sand. So that was kind of fun. Big thanks again to Phil for sending this stuff in. Anybody else that would like to send in pay dirt for a shout out and possibly even a American Silver Eagle sent back to you in the mail. My mailing address is always in the description. Before you send anything though, make sure you check out my playlist, make sure I didn't already do it. Don't forget to check me out on social media. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. Winter's coming, so we're probably gonna have more pay dirt reviews. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.